So cataracts are a condition affecting the natural lens of the eye, whereby it starts to get cloudy. Uh, and this is where uh, patients often describe symptoms like glare, halos around lights, or difficulty with small print. So cataracts can be defined when the natural lens in the eye gets cloudy and misty. In contrast, glaucoma is a condition whereby the optic nerve, which can be thought of as a cable taking light from your eye all the way to your brain in which it's converted into an image, starts to get damaged. And that's typically due to high eye pressure. Although there is a variant of glaucoma where the pressure can actually be normal and the optic nerve can still be damaged. So cataracts are typically a condition whereby the visual acuity, the vision in the eyes is reduced, but there's often no other pathology uh, that's causing the vision to be reduced, meaning the back of the eye, the retina uh, is healthy and, and there's no signs of damage to the optic nerve. In contrast, glaucoma can be identified through a clinical examination, but there are other findings that can be, that can be identified which show abnormalities, such as raised eye pressure, or for example, when examining the back of the eyes, there are signs of optic nerve damage. In addition, by performing some additional tests, such as a visual field test, we can identify a field of vision that a patient is seeing, and if there's signs of uh, damage there, that could imply glaucoma. Furthermore, by doing a high resolution scan of the optic nerves, that can show signs of damage of the optic nerves, again, signifying glaucoma. Typically, in patients with cataract alone and no glaucoma, the optic nerves will be healthy, and also the visual field may be slightly reduced, but in a generalized manner and not in a focal manner, as is the case often in glaucoma. So the answer to that is yes, you can actually have glaucoma and cataracts at the same time. Um, and both of them can, in their own different ways, affect your vision. So the answer is yes, cataract surgery is safe in patients with glaucoma, although we have to take additional precautions, often in patients with glaucoma, to avoid raised eye pressure immediately after the procedure. I would certainly recommend for patients who have co coexisting glaucoma and cataract that cataract surgery is performed by a glaucoma specialist who can ma manage, these, uh, manage these potential issues of raised pressure more effectively. So cataract surgery uh, on its own can't eliminate glaucoma because glaucoma itself is, is irreversible. However, cataract surgery can on its own help to reduce the intraocular pressure, the eye pressure, slightly, and this in turn can benefit patients with glaucoma, meaning that they're less likely to have progression of their disease. Furthermore, cataract surgery can actually, when combined with um, other procedures, such as uh, eye stents or other glaucoma procedures, that can, that can certainly help uh, to reduce the pressure further and improve uh, pressure control in patients with glaucoma. So if cataracts are left for a considerable period of time, they can in fact cause a, a variant of glaucoma or a secondary glaucoma. And that can work because sometimes when the cataract becomes very large, uh, it can start leaking from inside the eye and lens material can actually then cause raised pressure in the eye and therefore glaucoma. Furthermore, Glaucoma can also be induced when the natural lens of the eye starts to grow. And as it grows, it grows forward. So in patients who have developing cataracts, they can cause the drainage angle of the eyes to start closing off and in turn, increasing the pressure in the eye. That's what we call acute primary angle closure glaucoma and is a variant or a subtype of glaucoma. These can tend to happen in patients where cataracts are left for a considerable period of time without being treated. <laughs>